Week two in SW19, and Wimbledon fever begins to reach boiling point. As the competition nears its climax, the business end of a Grand Slam, almost always, sees the cream rise to the top. I do think everyone brings their best here, and usually if you look back at the past few years, more often than not, the guy who was the best player in that year was the guy who won Wimbledon. It's always the case, isn't it, that the, the, the biggest tournaments or the, where, the, where, the, where the absolute top players come through. I think the thing with Wimbledon, it's right in the heart of the season. If you're planning your year, this is probably the time that you reckon you really want to peak at. For the most part, it, it's determined where the best bring their best and the best win out. It wasn't just the big names making the headlines, though. Over the fortnight at the All England Club, plenty of stories were unfolding. Canada's rising star, Vasek Pospisil, became the only unseeded player to make the men's singles quarterfinals, having come through a marathon Monday when he played 10 sets in singles and doubles. Definitely a, a tiring day, you know, spent a lot of hours on the court and uh, mentally tiring for sure, you know, a lot of emotions. Uh, reaching my first quarterfinal is a very special day for me and coming back from two sets down and my phone is blowing up and it's pretty, pretty amazing for, for everybody, you know, my family as well and, and uh, it's been a really special week. Vasek fell in the last eight to Andy Murray, but another story was brewing with the 2007 Wimbledon semi-finalist returning to the final four after beating Stan Wawrinka. Frenchman Richard Gasquet was feeling good on the grass again. I like to play on grass, it suits my game. Even uh, I can play on, on, on clay court, it's not a big difference, but uh, it's fun to play on that court. I'm feeling good, I think I can do uh, many things on the court, to serve well, return good. So it's a court uh, I played well, I uh, did, uh, did semis many times second week, so I like to play when we're done. <laughs>for Roger to win another Grand Slam is here, of course because of the surface, of course because he's play, he has a perfect game for grass. He can keep things short, he can play quick points. And Wimbledon was always his best surface in tournament. It's no surprise that this part of the year, with its conditions, is the best for him. And he's made it really his, his home. Extraordinary where Andy Murray is now compared with six, seven months ago. I think he's quite possibly the man to beat Murray the way he's playing at the moment. How good is he now compared to two years ago? Better. He is better. And the reason why he's better, because he's mentally stronger. He's more controlled, makes very, very few errors. And I think he's got a great chance of winning the championship. He's in great shape and this is his best chance he's had at winning a major since he won Wimbledon the last time. He's coming in here with a lot of confidence, a lot of calm. I think he should be definitely one to watch and on the very short list of favourites to win it here. So just who would write the next chapter of Wimbledon history? The time had come for this year's champion to be crowned. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the last grass court tournament of the season takes us to Newport, Rhode Island. And the not so normal service. John Isner talks us through what makes the perfect serve. Don't forget to log on to the all new ATPWorldTour.com for your 24 7 breaking news. And talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.